Amen. God will use you. Yes. Praise the Lord. And he'll use you. You don't have to be at church for the Lord to use you. All right, Bishop. Amen. The song I said, wherever I am, yeah. I praise him. I praise him. Praise, praise the Lord. So wherever you go, wherever you may be. Yes. Praise the Lord. God will use you. Yes. yes. Amen. If you let your light so shine before yes. men. Yes. Yes. They may see your good works. Glory and God. glorify the Father. And we praise the Lord today. Amen. Thanking God for his mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thanking him for just another day. Yeah. Amen. That the Lord will bless each and every one of us. Yes. Amen. That we are today, amen, in the house of the Lord. And we count it a blessing. Amen. And a privilege that God has allowed us to come together. Amen. One more time. Praise the Lord. And as always, we pray that the Holy Ghost will glorify Jesus. Amen. And minister to our hearts. Praise yes. the Lord. Amen. Always come to the house of God. Praise the Lord with an open mind. All right. Amen. Expecting to hear what the Spirit. Yes. Lord. Amen. Will say unto the church. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. It's not so much worried about who's going to say and who's going to testify. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Who's going to run around the church? Who's going to say this and who's going to say that? All of that stuff is wonderful. Yes. Amen. But at the end of the day, praise the Lord. Our prayer should be, Lord, give me this day. Yes. Amen. Amen. My daily bread. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Because man shall not live by bread alone. All right. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. And I want you to know that we must live by every word. Yes. Amen. And that proceeded out of the mouth or from the mouth of God. Amen. So we call your attention today. Amen. That the will of the Lord be done to the book of Luke chapter number 18. Bless the Lord. Luke chapter number 18. We shall be reading from verse 9 through verse 14. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter number 18. Verses 9 through verse 14. And you have it, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We shall read and then we shall hear what the Spirit will say to each and every one of us. Amen. Luke chapter number 18, verse number 9. And he spake this parable unto, unto certain, which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisees stood and prayed, and thus prayed thus within himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes up to heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Mm. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. All right. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. I want to go back to verse number 13, the latter end. God, God. be merciful to me, to me, a sinner. A sinner. Praise the Lord. God, God. Be, merciful be merciful to me or unto me, a sinner. Yes, sinner. We see here the Lord Jesus begin to address two religious group of people. Mm -hmm. One group were known as the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. You got more than two, but he's dealing with two here. Yes, sir. In all the texts, you got the scribes. But he's dealing here today with the Pharisee and the publican. All right. Praise the Lord. And we shall endeavor 
to give you a brief summary on these two religious groups of people. Bless them, Lord. Praise the Lord. We may not get into everything concerning these two groups, but we want to be able to bring to you, amen, some of their core beliefs. All right. That you can understand what they were all about. Yes. The Lord began to speak in verse number nine. You can read with me. And he spake this parable. He spake this parable. Unto certain which trusted in themselves. Praise the Lord. He began to speak parable, and, and someone said the parable, many may give their different version or reason or interpretation of a parable. Mm -hmm. Amen. But my interpretation is parables. Praise the Lord, are earthly stories with a heavenly meaning. Amen, Monsieur. Praise the Lord. So Jesus many times would use earthly stories. Yes. Amen. Earthly examples. Uh -huh. Amen. To bring to light the heavenly realities. All right. Praise the Lord. So he began to say this parable unto certain. Which trusted in themselves. Amen. And they trusted in themselves. Mm -hmm. That they were righteous. Praise the Lord. That they righteous and despised others. Praise the Lord. So this group now began to look at themselves. Uh -huh. And they looked at themselves that we are more righteous. Yes. And they began to scorn the other group. All right. Praise the Lord. You know you will have people like that. Yes, yes. Amen. That you, you always find them sin. Amen. Faulting somebody else or people. That's right. Amen. But they fail to realize, amen, that they themselves, amen, that they need help from the Lord too. That's right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. The, the Pharisees, praise the Lord, they despise other people. Yes. Praise the Lord. You got folks like that, whether it be on your job, mm -hmm. whether it be in the church, mm -hmm. sometimes it even come along your family. Oh, yes. Because yes. you, you know some family member feel as though, Lord, because I got me a good job. Uh -huh. And I got a house on Blueberry Hill, if you let all me right. say it this way. All right, all right. Praise the Lord, my bank account is overflowing. Mm. All right, now. Praise the Lord. You understand, but when it's time for me and my children to go shopping, yeah. amen, we don't go to Salvation Army. All right. In other words, we done ride. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. See, I, I, I'm not like my brother or my sister and, and their family. Yes. Praise the Lord. Don't even know where the next meal is coming from. We ain't got to worry about nothing like that. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. They ain't got to go to the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But me and my kids, praise the Lord. When we go to some of the name brand stores. Yes. All right. Praise the Lord. We're able to shop. And I mean, money is not an issue. Yes. Praise the Lord. Whatever we want is at our beck and call. Praise the Lord. Look at them. Yeah. Look at the clothes they they, they wear. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Huh? Mm -hmm. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. My Lord. Come into the house of God with them run down clothes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. All right, Bishop. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I've been seeing them wear that outfit for the last 20 years. Yes, Lord. By now, they, they, they ought to have a they upgrade on their wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. But they got the same stuff they've been wearing 20 years. I feel it's time for them to get an upgrade. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Praise the Lord. Whenever you want to find me, praise the Lord. Find me one of the most expensive stores. When I come to the house of God, I come stepping and I want everybody to know who I am when I have arrived. Praise the Lord. All right. There's nothing wrong. So if anybody wearing that, praise the Lord. 
you understand? Don't worry about the hat as long as your heart is clean. Okay. That's all that matters. But I'm just using an example. All right. Praise sure. the Lord. Sometimes they come dressed from head to toe. Uh -huh. Whether it be a woman or a male, praise the Lord. But men, we know we're at the house of God, but the sisters can shine that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But us men, we come with our nice suit. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. We understand we, we, we look good. Mm -hmm. And again, ain't nothing wrong with dressing right. Ain't nothing wrong with looking good. All right, then. Oh, hallelujah. But then the Lord begins to now examine something. Yeah, God, now. Praise the Lord. He said, now, you understand? Your God mm -hmm. is not what God, and I want you to understand me, praise the Lord. Oh. See, but what God is focusing on is not the outward appearance. All right, now. Oh, hallelujah. See, you see, what God wants to search, He wants to search the motive of the heart. Yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah. So, you know, you, you may get on some racket in clothes, whatever it may be. You may not have a whole lot of money in your pocket. Praise the Lord. Thank God you got a little gas in your tank right now. And you, and you pray that God stretch that gas. Yes, yes. Stretch it out. Praise the Lord. You go know, back then, you used to sing a song. Stretch out on oh, Jesus. I believe they told a story that happened, amen. I don't know who was involved in it, but they ran out the gas. Man out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What was it? Was that the story of the bus? Yeah, that's right. Well, man. who was where? Praise the Lord. But they ran out the gas. Man out the gas. Praise the Lord. And, and back then, I mean, <laughs> it, it may sound crazy today, uh -huh. but that folks back then, they had a right now tape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Not tomorrow, babe, yeah. but they had a right now tape. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And, and Yeah, it's sharper than that. I mean, it, it, it's 
your mind, what's in your spirit, what's in your soul. But remember this to all of us. The word of God is going to surge each and every one of us. Yes. Oh, you can hide it in um, You can pretend. You know, you got some folks that come to church and you, you got even folks that come around you and they pretend. They would even sit down with you and have dinner and lunch with you. That's but they don't really care about you. That's right. If, if you really could read their mind, if they can put some poison in that too, they would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Because you think, Lord, these folks love me. They, they sit down having bread. Yeah. Having dinner with me, but little do you know what's in them folks' heart. Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Bible said, you, say, you, you got to learn to be careful and know your enemy. Yes. It's the same, keep your friend close, uh -huh. but your enemies keep them a little closer. Yeah. Oh, honey, because there's going to be a lot of folks sometimes that, that even try to, you know, put praises on you. Uh -huh. They try to hype you up. Praise the Lord. Yeah. They go out to the community. They try to hype you up and praise you to other people. Yeah. But deep down in their heart, yeah. all of this is a show. That's right. They real. Amen. They want everybody to think, oh, no, oh, I, I love that person. I, I'm all for that person. Yeah. I, I, I done said it before, and I'm going to keep saying it again. Mm -hmm. See, I don't want nobody to say, I, I'm for Bishop and B. All right, Bishop. No, you don't. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. What I want to hear is that people are for what is known as T R U T H. I want to know those that are for truth, those that are for right. Amen. For oh, hallelujah. In about me. That's right, Bishop. And you only supposed to follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. And if I don't follow Christ, don't you follow me? Amen. Oh, you watching this program today? Don't you follow anybody that ain't following Christ? Amen. Follow them as they follow Christ. If they ain't following Christ, don't follow them. Amen. But the word of God is quick. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Sharp. It's sharper than any two edges. So even dividing, even the dividing of sunder of the soul, and of the spirit. soul and the spirit, and of the joints and of the joints and of the marrow, and is a discerner. Praise the Lord. See, I don't know what's in your mind today. Praise the Lord. You yeah. don't know what's in my need. That's right. Praise the Lord. I, I I could be up here and. Praise the Lord, but my mind, praise the Lord, is filthy. Mm. Oh. My mind, praise the Lord, is filled with hatred. All right, Bishop. My mind could be filled with envy. Yes. And guess what? None of y'all wouldn't know because guess what? If I don't speak about it, you don't know. No, no. Read your mind. Praise the Lord. But God, God got a mind reader. All right. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord, 
I'm going to buy you a beer, yeah. but my mind is, is at a basketball game yeah. or somewhere else. Somewhere else. So the word of God is a discerner. All right. And it searches out the intent yeah. of the heart. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Some people, they got some evil heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the heart that pump blood. I'm talking about this mindset right here. The heart of the mind. The seed of affection. Yes. Praise the Lord. Oh, is, is, that, is, that, is that all of it? Yes, sir. Want to talk a little bit about the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 23. Yes. Verse number 1. Matthew 23, verse number 1. Matthew 23, verse number 1. We shall read verses 1 through verse 6. And then we're going to skip over. All right. Praise the Lord to verse 25. Then spake Jesus. Then spake Jesus to the multitude. To the multitude. And to his disciples. And to his disciples. Saying, saying, the scribes and the Pharisees. The scribes and Pharisees. Sit in Moses' seat. They sit down in Moses' seat. All therefore. All Whatsoever they bid you mm -hmm. observe, mm -hmm. that observe and do. And do. But do not be after their works. Don't do after their works. For they say, for they say, and do not. Is that you? That say and do not. Mm. Don't do. Praise the Lord. I'm a Christian, but, but what is your life? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. If I say I'm a Christian, yeah. I ought to act like one, yeah. I ought to live like one, I ought to be like one. Yeah. If I claim I am a Christian, Amen. and a Christian is more than just saying it, what is your life? Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. You can't be the light of the world and at the same time dibbling and dabbling in darkness. If you are light, you are light. Yeah. And one person have the light, mm -hmm. everybody else is gonna follow that person yeah. that have the light because they want a way out. That's yeah. right. Yeah. When the world look at us as the light, yeah. is the world following us? Yes. All right. All right, man. See, sometimes the world will want to know sometimes. Hey, is I that person really saved? Mm -hmm. Are they truly a Christian? Mm -hmm. Because they say. Praise the Lord. Man. They say they are a Christian, but listen to how they're cussing and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Look out now. Praise the Lord. They say they are a Christian, but listen to how they're giving somebody a piece of their mind. Oh, oh. Jesus said if they smite you on one cheek, uh -huh. turn the other. That's what he said. But then somebody said, well, I know what the Bible said, but my Praise the Lord. Because if you slap me, brother, look out. Praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Because huh? I ain't no punk. Yeah, that's what they say. My mama didn't give birth to no punk. Uh huh. I know what the Bible says, but ain't nobody going to put me to shame in front of folk. I'm going to show up. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. See, I, I, I claim that I'm a Christian. But what is my speech? Yes. What is my lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Is the folks following me like you said this morning? Yes. That's a beautiful illustration. Yes. Is the world following us as the church as a whole? Or is the world looking at us and saying, is that what they call being a Christian? My Lord. Mm. My Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, hallelujah.
Yeah. But then on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. they got the praises. When the praises go up, the blessing. Yeah. What, what praise is going on? Mm -hmm. All they're doing is mocking God. That's it. Because you know it's my family. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That's my brother. That's my sister. That's like my great, great, great uncle. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to let uncle down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let mommy down. I don't want to let daddy down. So they just go along with them folks that ain't got no mind to serve God in spirit and in truth. Because if they want to be real, they'll be at the place which will help them to be real and be on the But what they want, they want somebody to have a cloak to cover them and make them feel all right even though they know they're wrong. In other words, you see them step outside with two left shoes yeah. and you say you look good. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, don't be like me. Few times and it happened to me. Mm -hmm. I put on two pairs of shoes and then realized it was two different pairs. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I came, I came to church with one. I don't know who noticed it, but thank the Lord. <laughs> but it was a right hand and a left foot, it was two different ones. I know, I know. <laughs> See, you can't say and don't do. All right. Praise the Lord. So they say and don't do. Mm -hmm. Read on. 
deacon. For they mind heavy burdens mm -hmm. and grievous to be born. Grievous to be born. And lay them on men's shoulders. Mm -hmm. But they themselves would not move them with one of their feet. Read on. But all their works, mm -hmm. they do for to be seen. They do it to be seen. Of men. Of men. They made broad their phylacteries mm -hmm. and enlarged the borders of their garments. Did you see what the Pharisees did? That's what they do. The word pathories is what? Small boxes that contain scriptures. All right. So what the Pharisees then did, they don't make their boxes big. I know. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
with it. So all you have to do is live it right, yes, do it right. Don't be jealous of what somebody has got. Because yes. if God bless them, can nobody curse them. Enjoy what God bless your brother and sister with. Yes. Your day yes. may come. Yes. But if your day don't come and you don't get what they got, just live right, do right, and the same heaven they're going to do, yes. you will end up right there also. Yes. Amen. Read on, Jesus. Greetings in the market. Yeah, no greetings in the market, please. And to be called a man, Rabbi, Rabbi. Let's go to verse 25. I want to finish up. 25. Verse 25. Yes, sir. Woe unto you, mm -hmm. scribes and Pharisees. Scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For you may clean the outside of the cup. Who's a hypocrite? Someone that appears to be something that they're not. is to deceive. That's right. That's all. That's the job of a hypocrite is to deceive people. Yes, yes. Go hard. You know, sometimes you will have people. Mm -hmm. They think they're deceiving you. Yeah. But you write upon them. That's right. You ever been there with people? Yes. Oh, Folks yeah. think that they don't deceive you. Yeah. You in the dark and you don't know nothing. Yeah. But you just keep talking with them. Yeah. Let them like you don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. As my past used to say, play the dumb game. That's right. That's all. Let folks think you dumb, you don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. Every shot, I don't mean the person sleeping, y'all. Right. I used to go in my grandmother's kitchen and thinking that she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. I sneak in here. I looked, her eyes look closed. Yeah. I mean, look shut tight. Yeah. Praise the Lord. When I got in there and tried to start thinking stuff up, my grandma said, who is in there? <laughs> who is in there? Yeah. But I thought grandmother was sleeping. Mm -hmm. But she heard me, but she just played the dumb game. Yeah. Sometimes you got to play the dumb game with some folks. Oh, how do you know? Sometimes them Judas folks can be some folks that come to the house of God and call themselves a Christian. They're nothing but Judas. Praise the Lord. They'll you on one side of the cheek. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's what they call a mafia kiss. Yeah. You know when the mafia kiss you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you think they really love you. <laughs> you don't know they got hit out on you. But they, they, they try to make you feel comfortable, you know? Yeah. Just make you feel at ease. Because they know somebody's coming with a gun yeah. to shoot you down. They don't conspire with folks. So sometimes you might have people that don't conspire with people, you know? Yeah. Don't say a whole lot of stuff, you know? And then they want to come around and look at you and say, oh, I love you. Love me what? Nigga, mm. me, I love you. Nigga, mm -hmm. press me, I love you. Mm. But if you love me, why are you trying to destroy me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why are you trying to bring harm unto me if you love me? But there Judas what? Jesus know who he was? He knew. He knew. You know Jesus treated him? Jesus treated Jesus with love. Yeah. See, you got to overcome evil with good. It doesn't matter what somebody do to you, but it matters what you do to them. Yeah. Ambition. It doesn't matter how folks treat you, but it matters how you treat them. God is looking at your reaction. He's not ignoring their action, but he's looking at your reaction. They may cuss you up, but that don't mean you got to cuss them up again. They may scandalize your name. That don't mean you got to do it. You call yourself a Christian, you will live right. And you will love any enemies. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if I can love my enemy, there's absolutely nobody I can't love if I can love my enemy. That's right. So Jesus said, if you can love your enemy, nobody on this earth, you must lack love for. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, Bishop. Must I love them? 
and they, they did all of that. Yes! Give them that love. They want to kill me. Should I love them for Yes! They scandalize them. Should I love them? Yes! And if I love them, when I go down on my knees, I'm going to say a sincere prayer. I ain't going to say a prayer just for God to hear me say something. Because I'm going to need it from my heart. I'm going to pray for my enemy. Pray for them that despite me, use me and persecute me and say, oh, man, my Lord, for people against me, I'm going to pray for them. And I'm even going to fast and pray for them. Because you know what? I know anybody but the devil using them. That's right. Praise the Lord. And I want to see God deliver them, but it's not but the devil. That's right. But then you sometimes, you got some folks that give in to the devil, and they are a vehicle for the devil. Mm -hmm. Read on. Let, no, go to verse 25. Yes, sir. For they may clean the outside of the cup. War on you, scribes and Pharisees, here the priests. Yeah. For he may clean the outside of the cup. And of the planet. And of the planet. But within. But within. They are full of extortion and excess. Praise the Lord. See, folks profess to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what's the frame? What's the attitude of the mind? That's it. That's it. Praise the Lord. That's it. Looking good on the outside is good. But what about the condition of your heart? Mm. Do you think anybody is fooling God? Mm. See, I can fool people. Yes. But it's one person here that said, there's three that I can't fool. Mm. That is God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. He knows everything about me. He knows what I did in the midnight hour. Because you know where he's at? He's in me. He's in me. Right there. So wherever I go, whatever room I do, he knows. Yeah. I'm going to try to hide it. Try to hide that. But guess what? The Holy Ghost knows. Yeah. So the late Bishop Man used to say, listen. It's better to play with a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. Cause you may get by with a rattlesnake, right. but you and you just your mind. Cause that rattlesnake might just get you. Yeah. But it's better to go play with a rattlesnake because you might escape him. Yeah. But don't play with God. Cause you ain't getting by with God. I'm not escaping. God got a day. Oh, hallelujah. And you feel like God ain't dealt with you today? You got next month. Mm -hmm. Do you really know that? Mm. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. It is set in the heart of men to do wickedness continually. Some folks just don't want to change. That's all. Some folks just don't want to do right. That's all it is. Because if they want to do right, they can make an effort to do right. Amen. If I want to repent, I'm going to change my direction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the way I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the way I walk. Yeah. I'm Read on deep. The blind Pharisee, mm -hmm. cleanse first that which is within the cup and bladder, that the outside of them may be clean also. We're going to stop right there. Cleanse the inside. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yes. What is the condition of your heart? Yes, that's it. See, the Pharisees feel like they're, at, they're justified yeah. by their outward efforts. That's right. But what they don't realize, they're not conscious of their sinful nature. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, the Pharisee, he said, I'm glad. Let's go back. I want to finish on that. Yeah. Go back to chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. Lord, the first verse he left. <coughs> oh, chapter 18, Luke 18. I want to finish up in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Chapter verse 11. Yes. He stood and prayed thus with himself. He prayed thus, thus with You see, his approach to prayer is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because he's approaching God with a prideful heart. Yes. Praise the Lord. You know some folks get on their knees and start praying. They don't even ask God to forgive them if they did any wrong. They just start praying. Mm. Every believer at night before you lay down and in the morning when you wake up, before you go asking God for everything, ask God to wash you and cleanse you, forgive you if you did anything knowingly or unknowingly because you might have done some things and you think it was 
right, but God said, it's a sin. Amen. So don't approach God in your prayer with pride. Set your pride aside. Yeah. And ask God to have mercy upon you. And let God forgive you for the wrong things you might have done, said, or even thought in your mind. Nobody saw it, but God saw it. Read on, you can. Pray thus within himself. Mm -hmm. God, God, I thank thee. I thank thee. That I am not as other men are. I'm glad I ain't like deep impressive. Extortioner. He's extortion. In other words, he takes people's property and money by force. Mm -hmm. Unjust. Unjust. Praise the Lord. And an unjust person is one that fails to do right by other people. Mm -hmm. They don't say they're unjust with them. Mm -hmm. Adulterers. See, God, I'm glad I, I, I took nobody's wife, and I'm glad I took nobody's husband, yeah. so I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah. But you see that sister, you see that brother, they don't took somebody's wife, they don't took somebody's husband, so I don't know the hell they go. Yeah, yeah. Read on. And or even at this moment. Even as this fellow. I'm glad I ain't like him. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm not like him. Yeah. But what he's not conscious about is his sinful nature. Mm. What he don't realize, yes, he may not have done those things, but at the same time, when God looked at him, God said, you're a sinner, sinner. Mm. You want to talk about all of these ones, but when I look at you, I look at you as a sinner. Oh, hallelujah. Well, you know, I, I haven't done those things. Mm -hmm. These are little foxes. That's part of the vine. It's the little things that sometimes Christians don't want to pay attention to. But as soon as somebody commit fornication, yeah. adultery, yeah. or somebody find them smoking or drinking, oh Lord, that person going to hell. Yeah. You know. I give you another example. Years ago, you know what some folks used to do? And I've said this before, and I say that because the Bible says it. You know, sometimes some folks used to look over at other folks in other churches. Mm. How dare they go to church, mm. call themselves a Christian with pants on. Mm -hmm. Praise the mm -hmm. Lord. Good church. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How dare they go? Yeah. How just dare they say? Yeah. Look at them in their pants. They're going to slap the hell like Bishop Hill would say. I like when he says, slap the hell. Slap the hell. Look at them. They ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. Nothing but a devil. But uh, see, I'm sitting right in the same church. Yeah. And I got a garment on with two different colors. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes Christians just read a part of the scripture that makes them feel good. Yeah. But they want to go on to the other verses now mm -hmm. that say, if you're looking at somebody else, yeah, why don't you check yourself out too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh -oh. Praise the Lord. All right, Bishop. Now, let me say this. If the church rule is, we go on our own hands in certain areas, that's the rule of the church. And if you don't want to abide by the rules, leave. Hey. But the church got to have some rules. But if that's what they said to do, what's wrong with all that? That's right. But the point is, don't look at somebody else that they're wrong and you can't even see yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about other people, but well, you will start talking about yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Man, Bishop. So, Mother McBee put the hell because she got pants on. But I'm sitting up in church with two different fabric on. Now, I'm in this opinion just like she is. Mm -hmm. in the book. So that means, <laughs> if I point her to hell, guess what? Mm -hmm. The same direction I point her, that's where I'm going to. Yes. So stop trying to look at all the folks and check yourself out. About yourself. In other words, you best save your own self. Mm -hmm. See whether you be in the faith or you just talking about the faith. You can talk about it, but are you in? All right. So again, every church got regulations. And if that's the rule and regulation of the church, you want to be a part of it, 
You got to abide by it because you can't go to your job and do what you want to do, can you? That's right. You know what they will tell you, brother? This coming Thursday is the last Thursday for you. Yeah. And we're going to pay you for the final time. Mm -hmm. And when we don't pay you for the final time, brother, That's you understand? It. Don't come back. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. See, if you want to be a part of a church, you're going to abide by the rules of the church. And let me say this. You will support whatever the church got going on. All right. Praise him. Hallelujah. I'm a part of a job, but I don't never go to, to my job. You know what they would do to me? They would fire me in a heartbeat. Yes, oh. Praise the Lord. You see, I ain't going to bite the hand and feed me. You know what that saying is? I ain't gonna criticize the church. I ain't gonna criticize my brother. I'm gonna criticize my sister because I'm a part of that same group. Amen. Dickily, mm -hmm. he said this. Mm -hmm. And I'm warriors. All right. That's the NBA finals. <laughs> For those that don't know, praise the Lord. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that sport. Nothing wrong with it. Now, something wrong. Mm -hmm. If my team, which is the Warriors, yeah. we start fighting against each other. Yeah. Seventy ten got to worry about nothing. They got to worry about nothing. They just keep running down the court, boom, yeah. back to Yeah. Because the Warriors on the side fight against themselves. Yeah. See, you got to realize, I don't fight against my brother and sister. The only person I got to fight against is my enemy. And if my brother and my sister is my enemy, Amen. I got one enemy, and that's the devil. Amen. I'm glad I ain't like that. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You might not have done the big thing, mm -hmm. but what about them small things you do? A little bit. Praise the Lord. Amen. What about them small things you do mm -hmm. that you think God is overlooking? Listen, God don't overlook no sin. No. He don't overlook wrong at all. He can judge it according to the intent, and God knows what my intent is. So don't you be like the Pharisees that is concerned about their outward efforts, but they're not conscious of their sinful nature. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the publican, uh -huh. read on, did you? I fast twice a week. You know the Pharisees I fast twice a week. I gave of all that I possess. There's a lot of folks that fast, mm -hmm. but they didn't really fast. They just starve. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. All right, Bishop. Because fasting is supposed to break the bands of the wicked and set the captive free. Yes. God said, I called for a fast, but the fast Israel was doing wasn't the way that God called for. So when God called for a fast, you better fast according to the word of God. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God said, I set aside a day for fasting, and this is what I want you all to do. Them folks was doing something different than what God said. So God said, now, how can I get your attention? You are busy with this. Read on, people. And the publicans. And the publicans. Standing afar off. As we close up, the publicans. Mm -hmm. Standing afar off. Would not lift up so much as his eyes unto him. See, the publican had a humble mind. Mm -hmm. In other words, he knew who he was. Yes. In other words, you know what he's saying to God? God, right now, I'm a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a filthy, I'm dumb. Praise the Lord. I, you look at me, God. I am dirty from head to toe. I am just filthy, God. And I can't even, uh, Lord, I, I, I'm so ashamed of myself mm -hmm. that I can't even lift my head up to you. Because sin has caused me to keep my head down. Yes. But he said, God, I know who I am. I'm a sinner. Mm -hmm. I'm a mess. 
praise the Lord. See, some folks, they commit sin, and what they do, they bury it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Right. They bury it. That's right, Bishop. Instead of being real and go to the pastor and talk to the brother pastor, I, listen, my life is a mess. Mm -hmm. I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I've been talking the way I'm supposed to talk, brother pastor. I just haven't been the way that Jesus expects me to be. Brother pastor, I need to be real with God first. And the reason why I'm real with God, the reason why I'm coming to you is because I'm real with God and I want to come to you. And we will have a sit down talk with the pastor and when I am done with this conversation, I mean it from my heart and you ain't got to worry about me no more. Have to talk to me about this matter no more. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Because guess what? I'm not apologizing for the pastor. I'm repenting. Some folks apologize for their sin. They repent. They apologize. But when you repent, you will change. Yeah. Repentance calls for a change. You will stop doing the things you're doing. You will stop living the way you're living. And you will seek to do that which is right. That probably can bow his head. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Mm -hmm. I'm a sin. My sin has caused me not to be able to look to you. Yeah. He humbled himself as we bring this message to a close. The publican was one of the worst people you can run into. Yes. Tax collectors. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Tax collectors. Mm -hmm. and, and you know how smart the Romans were? Whenever the Romans them conquer a land, they would take the citizens of that country or that land and make them tax collectors. Mm -hmm. So their own countrymen would be mad and those people of the land would be fighting against each other instead of fighting against the Romans. So the Romans were smart enough. You know, let's use one of them. Yeah. And it's going to mess up the relationship with all of them. So we got to worry about fighting with none of them. Oh, hallelujah. So the publicans were some very folks you didn't want to be around. But did you know Jesus chose a publican? And made him one of his disciples. Mm. Oh, See, it doesn't matter how low you are and what you have done in your life, whether you whether you be up or whether you be down. Yeah, I sing the song, the blood Love. that Jesus shed for me yeah. way back hey. on Calvary. It reaches. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus can find you. Yes. No matter how messed up life you might have lived all your life, the blood of Jesus can find you. All you got to do is repent. Repent. Turn to God. Mm -hmm. Confess your sins. Stop trying to bury your sins. That's right. Be real with God. Be real. But first of all, I got to be real with me. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Everybody sitting here tonight, today, if you are a Christian, first of all, God said, be real with yourself. Be real with your own self. You know you're, the, you, you, you're not where you ought to be. Mm -hmm. You know you don't talk like you ought to. You know like you, you know you don't fast like you should be fasting. Mm -hmm. Be real with yourself. Yeah. And once you become real with yourself, God said, oh, come, let us reason together. Yeah. Let us reason. Let's talk it over. The best thing on this earth, people, is to know that your sins has been forgiven. Yes. The publican said, Lord, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. Yes. How many want God to have mercy? Have mercy, yeah. Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Please. See, God can't have mercy if you got pride in your heart. Please. And nobody gonna change. I can never change if I got pride in my heart. I never change. Praise the Lord. Pride ain't gonna keep me. Pride is gonna keep me back from changing you all. Pride will keep you back from changing. There are many people who could be in churches around the world today, but their pride won't let them humble themselves and go back to that church and say, I'm sorry. Amen. Go sit down and talk to their leader. But I messed up. Mm -hmm. right. But
But some of them allow their pride to burn the bridge. Don't, they don't know that they're going to need that bridge one day to get back to the Lord. You burn your bridge and see what happens to you. All right. Praise the Lord. You want to try to get back to the church. Try to get back with the Lord. But guess what? Don't you blame nobody. It was you that burned the bridge. All right now. It was you that said all of that stuff. You know what you did. Yes. Oh, I don't want nothing to do with them folks. I don't want nothing to do with that church. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing to do with that loud mama preacher. Mm -hmm. I promise you one thing, by the grace of God, my mama going to be loud until the day I die. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible said, cry loud, spirit now, lift up your voice like a trumpet, show my people their transgression. Yes. We can strive to be real over here. It's just a few folks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're about 20 or so. Mm -hmm. But God is looking for some real folks. That's all he wants. He ain't worried about a hundred folk that don't mean right. The Lord just said, I want to see if there's, Abraham said, Lord, if there's 20 righteous, yeah. spare the you can spare the city. Mm -hmm. God said, I can't even find 20. You know how much God found in, in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah? One! Just one man in the whole city of Ithaca. If you let me use it as an example, that was standing for what's right. Everybody else in the city was ungodly. But one man mm -hmm. said, I'm going to live so that God can use me. Yes. All of these ungodly folks going on and running around here. Lot said, I'm going to live a different life. Mm -hmm. And because Lot chose to live a different life when judgment was about to come on the earth, God remember Lot? Yes. Don't you get too far from God that God don't remember you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Because you going to call on him yes. and he's going to mock you. Don't play with your salvation. Come on. Be grateful that you are part of the body of Christ. It's a privilege. It's an Amen. honor. Amen. Don't let your circumstances, you understand, hold you as a hostage. I heard that in Sunday school too. Mm -hmm. Don't be a hostage of your situation. Get out of your slum. Yes. Get out of sin. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Come on now. Let the devil know. I'm tired of you. Come on. Come on. Because I know I fell down. Mm -hmm. And because I fell down, dust fell on my foot. Yeah. But I ain't gonna stay down. I'm getting up. I'm gonna dust myself off. Right. And I'm going back home. Hallelujah. And when I come back home, I'm coming with a humble heart. That's right. I ain't coming with no excuses. No. I'm coming humble. Right. And I say, Lord, I have a remorseful heart. Mm -hmm. And a broken and a contract heart. God will not despise. Amen. But you come back with a Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Attitude. Mm -hmm. God don't have no children that have attitudes. No sir. Sons and daughters don't have attitudes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. What, what do you say? Not that we don't have false and shortcoming, mm -hmm. but when we see that we are falling, we don't try to justify our fall. We own up to it and say, Lord, it's me. Mm -hmm. Me. I'm a sinner. sinner. How many is a sinner today? Amen. Sure. And you want God to have mercy on you. Thank you, Lord. You can get out, but you got to repent. Got to repent. Praise the Lord. Huh? You got to do it the way the Bible says you. Because if I don't live the way the Bible says, all this preaching, yes. y'all know where I'm going when I'm done? Slap to hell. Right. Praise the Lord. Huh? Slap straight to hell. That's where I go. So let us not fool ourselves, mm -hmm. calling ourselves a Christian, but we ain't gonna live the life. I got to live the life. Mm -hmm. I heard Mahalia Jackson something. 
I'm going to live the life that I sing about. I said, that's true. And as a preacher, I got to live the life that I preach about. I got to live the life that I talk about. I got to live the life because, hey, listen, if I don't do it like the Bible said, guess what? You all, man, you all going to heaven, and guess where I go? I go slap in the hell after sweating all these years, telling you what's right, and you see me in hell. I know. Praise the Lord. And you rejoice. You didn't come and visit me in no hell. I'm going. I'm How many want to go? I'm going. Somebody said, well, 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 I'm striving to go. What do you mean, striving? Yeah, striving to enter into the straight gate. Mm -hmm. But you better get a made up mind. Made up. I'm going. Oh, I think I can make it. What do you mean, you thinking? Mm -hmm. I think I can make it this journey. What do you mean, think? Mm -hmm. If you're thinking you can make it, you may not make it. Mm -hmm. But when you know you're going to make it, oh, man. That's because you're putting the work in and you know, see, you know you want. If you live right, you're going. That's right. That's all. That's all that matters. I'm living right. I'm talking right. And I'm at, and if I get on track, there's a way for me to get right back with God. All I gotta do is repent. Right. Get it straight, get it right, and I'm back on track with God. And it don't matter what folks in the community say about me, it don't matter what my family say about me, it doesn't matter what the church folks say about me, if God forgive my sin, it don't matter who wanna hold it together. I tell folks, I don't care what nobody got to say about me. Mm -hmm. The only time I care about what anybody got to say about me is what they're saying is true. That's right. Because if what they're saying is true, I best listen to what they got to say. And it could be a backsider mm -hmm. that tell me what's true. I'm going to listen to what they say. True. I ain't going to say, you, you can't tell me that. I'm a bishop. Listen, even if a child tell me what's right, I want to listen to that child. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon me a sinner. Yes. God bless you. In Jesus' name. You here today? Huh? And you have a